prior to the technical training, you know, we were, you know, we were offering our customers, you know, things like soft touch laminate, scuff resistant laminate, and we were adding a little bit of, of some feel to our printed collateral. And, and we were using the machine very, very little, you know, every now and then there would be a customer that, you know, knew we had the machine and wanted to try something with it, but it, it, it really wasn't anything that we were actively, you know, going out and trying to, to land business with it. So once we started doing the uh, the training with Tactical, we really kind of realized what are some different options that are available. You know, we really started pushing our sales team to go out there and make calls on potential customers and you know, push this. And as a result, we were getting more volume going through the machines. Our press operators started being better at running the piece of equipment. Everybody just got a little bit more knowledge as we went through this process of trying to you know, to sell embellishments and sell, you know, what this machine did. And now, um, you know, we're at a point where we're at a steady flow of customers that are you know, asking us to, to produce items with that jet varnish on there. So it's, a, you know, it, it went from prior to the training, you know, maybe it was, you know, doing one or two jobs, maybe every other week or something to, to actively run on a daily basis now. It, it carried a, definitely a little more weight when Kevin then identified that his family uh, was in fact the owners of MGI. It was a little more, you know, it carried a little more weight. He was extremely knowledgeable. It was very, you know, it seemed like it was yesterday when we just started this thing. You know, it flew by yeah. uh, very quickly, but it just immediately kind of took off and he was able to give us some samples and, and you know, I'm our VP of sales, so I was really, you know, asking him questions about where do we go and sell this, what markets do we sell it in, who do we go to, and he was able to answer those questions and things like that. So it really, I mean, it immediately gave us value and, and took off. But prior to the first meeting, yeah, I'm with Casey, we had no idea. <laughs> I think that the biggest benefit was was just doing this consultation because it really it really pushed our sales team to go out and and sell it and find out you know, where we can apply this and then that trickled down in our production facility I think our production team was maybe a little uh, not nervous but you know, was just it was just the unknown for them the machine was we really only had one guy that kind of ran it he just kind of was getting mm -hmm. by you know, every now and then and so when we really started getting these you know live jobs and quick turns and things like that it just basically forced them into it and that i don't that would not have it would have been more of a i think it would have been a little more painful had we not have just like completely thrown everything at them we've learned a lot of things about the machine, what type of environment it needs to be in, what jobs will look good, what will not look good. We got a better idea of how long it's going to take to produce something, but that all stemmed from just doing the consultation. So I think number one for me was just, you know, baptism by fire, kind of. But at the, in terms of, you know, what it's done, I mean, our sales team has a just an absolute massive competitive advantage and the knowledge that we got from Tactical is, uh, you know, that's giving us another competitive advantage that nobody, we were the first ones to get it. So nobody else, any of this information. Yeah. I, I think that even it wouldn't be a bad idea after we've kind of done the things that they've told us to do that maybe we could do like another short little mini training with them or something when we you know we've learned so much that we're trying to like wrap our heads around and you know go you know run these samples and figure out how to do it the best way I think you know, maybe in six months or a year we're we'll have more questions like what's the next thing that we can do with this machine or maybe there's a super advanced <laughs> tactical <laughs> training that we could go but I really, I don't think that we've 
we certainly not learn all that we can from this thing. I think Kevin and his team have a lot more that they could they could give to us. So uh, maybe that's something they should look into. <laughs>